actually. Yo, what is up guys? Today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at my Hunter, Titan, and Warlock respectively. First, we're going to do my Hunter. Obviously, he's my main. He's one of my favorite characters. And I'm going to be showing you, if you guys don't know, if, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. But usually at like the middle to the end of a season, I like to show how my Hunter, all my Guardians essentially look. And... It's kind of like kind of like a fashion thing. Like I like to challenge myself. As you guys can see, my hunter's not wearing like same like the same piece of an armor set. I I used to have it to where I couldn't wear like a piece from like the same season or the same uh, expansion. But I've levied that because it's just it makes it a little harder. So as you guys can see, I'm having the binary phoenix cloak with the wildwood, which is two armor sets that came out in the same well in vanilla and i just decided i was like fuck it it's just gonna make it's just gonna be like make it harder on me just the, just that i don't make a whole armor set of just like year one armor or i can make that a challenge as well so this one's gonna be my hunter he's obviously one of my favorite characters he's literally my oldest character i made him in destiny one and never erased him and I brought him over to Destiny 2 on PS4 and I still have him there but unfortunately I played on PC so I yeah I, I switched him over to PC and I like I love how he looks he looks like a hunter he I wish the pants didn't have this silver or at least that it would change color but overall I this is my favorite way to roll out not only that but I've actually kind of changed a few things so if you guys can see this is all void and I have a void helmet as well if I need to do all void helmets for or all void for whatever reason. This is usually mostly for grenade launchers and sniper rifles. So basically this is my PvE setup. This is the setup I go in to do like what the hell is that called? Pit of Heresy. Uh, this is the armor set that I used to do Pit of Heresy. Really just solo stuff me only. Like usually this, it'll look something like this. Actually, no, this is it. So this is what I use for my PvE set when I'm doing Pit of Heresy. Actually, this is a lie. I don't use this for Pit of Heresy. I would be using this for certain parts of Pit of Heresy. Like a few of the different phases i would use this for the boss i would use the grenade launcher with uh this one this is what i would use to kill the boss so this is strictly my pve set with obviously celestial for the damage and middle middle tree void for like almost the majority of it aside from the boss so I have a lot of builds that I do mostly for like just me alone. It's, it's not even really builds. It's just like be all voided out. Have all of the perks that have like sniper stuff or grenade launcher stuff. If you guys want to see my build, let me know in the comments. But it's not really too crazy of a build in my opinion. So this is usually how he would look or with this helmet if I'm doing other instances. But this is how the full armor set look, looks all void. Now like I said... For me, my stats could be better. I really want uh, mobility because I dodge a lot, which means I can go in viz faster or just because I need dodging. But the one that I need, like me personally, I need more recovery because recovery is like the only stat that I know I can feel. So that... That means I'm just going to start have to start farming something with high mobility and high recovery, which is something I never really see on armor sets. So that's going to be a big challenge. So this is my PvE set. I love it to death, but we'll see the PvP set. This is my PvE set slash PvP set because I do use this for shotgun builds that I have. I have a few shotgun builds in mind. So this is all of the set if, like, for some reason I need a chest piece i always have all of it done so that way i can change it to whatever needs to be done as you guys can see i have a 102 mobility plus a 93 in resilience i could bump it up to like 100 i think if i remember correctly yeah i can so i can just switch just switch this one over 
but I decided to have a high high recovery with a high stat. That way, I can tank a lot of shit in PvP. Plus, I have my dodge, so whatever whatever I need my dodge for, I can just have it on standby. And then, obviously, recovery for high recovery, duh. But for PvE, it's usually I'm usually running a Liar's Handshake with a shotgun and this right here. I don't know if you guys noticed, I really like to do uh, like shotgun builds, even though they're suicide. I love it. It's fun. It's fun for me, at least. Uh, this is one of my favorite builds for Ark, but this is also a really, really fun build for myself, which is <clears throat> this right here. So the fourth horseman, I knew the, the moment that fourth horseman came out, I was like, I'm going to use that a lot just because I like fourth horseman. I liked it in D1 and I'm going to like it here. And fourth horseman with, with the catalyst, especially is a lot of fun. I uh, just don't know why. Oh, I never put this. So it's just, it's really fun. Like the reload boot, the, the, the reload buff and the extra, ma extra bullet is just, it's so much fun, especially when you're using sealed on car grasps. You like b blow your load and then hit someone and then just blow it again. T 10 bullets immediate. It's so, it's so good. Uh, the only thing, again, like I said, shotgun range is just suicide. I was using, <clears throat> I was using this shotgun, 7th Seraph, not that one. I was using this one, the 7th Seraph CQC against the escalation protocol boss and it was just it was bonkers it was fun but on a hunter especially it was just suicide on a titan or a warlock it's much easier with titan being the easiest one but i could probably do that those in a later video but this is my p my other pve build and then for pvp honestly it really just depends i could i usually do this one because i love these boots there's a lot of fun and then for pve I, it really just depends or pvp it just depends on what i'm feeling at the time i'd probably just do something like this to be quite honest this would probably be it just because it's a lot of fun uh i'm gonna be always in close quarters because of this because i want to do some damage with the bombardiers so i could just be doing this not only that it's all arc so i'm getting all the shotgun benefits as well and yeah this is one of my favorite looks for my hunter he looks really cool looks like a knight or like a really casual knight with a hood and the last one i have is actually my grenade build now this is like just pieced together this is not like me trying 100 percent hard because it was just me like, I'm just going to use this sometimes. You guys can see my grenades all the way up there. But I can also put weapons that have like um, demolitionist if I wanted to. And this is usually mostly for like if I need grenades fast for some reason. And when I say that, I mean like there's bounties that I need grenades, grenade kills. If I'm be feeling really weird, I'll do this in a P e PvP setting. So I'll just throw grenades everywhere. I can also like put this with a few few exotics. I can put I can pair this with <clears throat> Young Ankara's spine. I can do that. I can pair it with where are you, Lenora? No, I saw you. Oh, Shinobu's vow. There's a few things I can do it with. Uh, like I said, the only thing I the only reason I have it is because I see a lot of grenade specific bounties, and I just killed kill it with this. Not only that, but it's just, it's just fun. So that's pretty much it for my Hunter. I, uh, you know, don't really have much to say for my Hunter. I have other stuff here, but this is mostly just cause like I've been playing a, a bunch of stuff. This is like, you guys probably noticed I have like this armor here for some reason. So I'll just show you real quick what this is. So this is just my armor. That's the highest. So. This is like very casual, like I'm not really trying to do this as much as I usually would. But this is like my highest leveled armor and I keep it with the same armor because I never use this armor, sadly because the gold never changes. So it's just an indicator of like, okay, that armor is specifically my highest level armor. So it means like if I get another like high stat or high rolled armor, like as in I get like 104 cloak. 
I would put that uh, ornament on it. And if you guys are wondering why I have this armor set, is because I actually farmed my Titan, my Warlock, and my Hunters, all this armor yesterday. All of it. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, doing Escalation Protocol on my Hunter was fun. On my Titan, it was especially fun. Oh my god. And my Warlock was pretty cool. She she suffered a lot because the like if you guys don't know her her healing uh, super the one um, solar middle tree is good for like keeping you alive, but it does not block you from being ground smashed, which means you go flying. So you have to time your melees perfectly to like not get slammed. For your titans, it's super easy. Just go right next to him, pop your bubble. You don't have to worry about him slamming because most of the time the slam will not go through. And my hunter, honestly, I was just doing this all the time because my my hunter is like more of a sniper. He's like in the back, like with a sniper in hand. And that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the video. Let me let me know what you guys think about my hunter in general. I think my hunter looks really cool. I love how he looks. Like I said, it's one of my favorite things to do in uh, Destiny is just to like really go into the build craft of like looking cool. The and one of the great things is with the incoming changes to uh, just armor in general, it's gonna be a lot easier to like mix and match armor. Hopefully, it's not super expensive because if it is, I'm gonna be annoyed. But yeah, I've been saving up Bright Dust so. I'm literally going all in this. I'm really excited for the cha the coming changes. I'm optimi like optimistically, or not. I'm cautiously optimistic because it is Destiny. They have shown us cool shit, but then just kind of burned us before. So I am tempering my expectations. But overall, let me know what you guys think about my armor. Is my hunter cool? Is it not? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, things are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. If you guys at least watched my Resident Evil video, I thank you because that's the type of content I want to do. I want to do multiple types of content, not just Destiny 2. So if you guys see other content, please at least watch it a little. Uh, because I'm going to be doing more. I'm going to literally be playing Doom Eternal today and recording it for the channel. So... Yeah, just uh, hopefully you guys support my other stuff. So, yeah, I will see you guys later.